Hello. In the next video I'm going to show you how you can make a simple script using iPhone and Visual Studio. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, create a new test project. So select File, New Project from Visual Studio. In the New Project window select the Mud Test Template and enter a name for your project. Click OK. Uh, click OK. Now that we created our project, we're going to load the Visual Studio add-in. So select Tools, uh, Add-in Manager, and check the MVS add-in option. A new menu gets added in uh, Visual Studio and now we need to press connect to connect the Visual Studio add-in to the device manager. You can see that it is connected now in the connected testing tools top. Now to create a script all I have to do is select start recording from the mode test menu and manipulate the device. So I'm going to select uh, text fields from the list here I'm going to enter my name in this text field. Click done. I'm going to go back. Then I'm going to select pickers from the list. And I'm going to make a selection here in this list. And then I'm going to press stop recording. <coughs> Now if I change the selection back to something else in this list and I go back and clear the edit field or I can just um, fill in another name here I can then replay the script by clicking run So now first it's going to make uh, the selection in the list by selecting text fields. And it's going to fill in a name. It's going to go back. It's going to select the pickers option and make the selection in the picker. At the end of every run, uh, a result file will pop up um, with the results of this uh, script and this time the script finished successfully. I'm going to close this. Now if we have a closer look at the object repository behind this script <coughs> we can see that we recognize the properties or the attributes for this object which is a this is a text field so this was um, the text field where I entered the name this one uh, we can see for instance that the class name is uh, UI text field that we can see the index the navigation bar title um, and the placeholder uh, of course these properties can be configured so if we go to the tools object configuration in the device manager and we select iPhone from the list here and then we scroll down to iOS text field we can see that uh, these four properties are the properties that are being used in uh, Visual Studio right now but we can change these by clicking add or remove and then we see the full list of the properties that are supported for this object and that's all you need to know to get started with Visual Studio and iPhone <coughs>